times have you heard stories of or watched Miss America, Miss Universe, or even toddlers and tiaras? There are many pageants out there for girls of all ages. Pageants have caused much controversy lately because of many different factors. According to a poll on debate.org, 57% of people say that child beauty pageants should be banned, and 43% say they should not. Those for beauty pageants say that they are just like playing dress up. In contrast, those against child beauty pageants say that pageants teach you to look and act a certain way for people to like you. Beauty pageants are harmful. The four main points I will talk about today are, one, beauty pageants can conflict with values, two, beauty pageants can bring emotional problems, three, beauty pageants can bring financial strain, four, beauty pageants can sexualize young girls. I have said the four topics that we will discuss in this presentation. First, we will talk about how beauty pageants can conflict with values. According to a 2012 article on Good Therapy, a website for therapists, children in beauty pageants learn a lot of unhealthy values. Some of these include the desire to defeat the competition at all costs, tantrums, meltdowns, and unrealistic perceptions of beauty. Values of ac academics, empathy, social skills, athletics, and other age-appropriate activities don't show in these pageants. Also, because only a few grow up to be a model or a similar entertainer, these pageants harm their development by focusing their attention on something they will probably never do again as an adult. According to a 2013 article posted on the Global Post website, parents of beauty pageant participants have to tell their children that pageants are a fantasy. If they aren't told this, they tend to develop their appearance more than their personality and values. After competing in pageants, Children can be persuaded into thinking that they should concentrate on external beauty rather than developing their internal beauty and knowledge. My first main point shows that beauty pageants can conflict with the values of girls and wrongly teach them that appearances mean more than anything else. Beauty pageants can conflict with values. These conflicting values lead to my second main point, which is the emotional problems that pageants contribute to. According to the Good Therapy website for therapists, Pageants imply that appearance is important, which gives young girls distorted emotional values. The attention given to appearance can lead to body image distortion and low self-esteem. Pageants encourage contestants to quickly diet to fit into smaller costumes or swimsuits. These crash diets include sugary foods, which can lead to long and short-term eating disorders. According to a 2013 article on the Global Post website, Children who compete in pageants base their self-worth on looks, and if their appearance doesn't keep up as they age, their feeling of self-worth plummets. When kids put all, all of their focus and effort into their looks, they may be prone to emotional problems. Today, it's common for teens that used to be in pageants to develop things such as eating disorders and body image problems. In summary, pageants can lead to many different physical and emotional problems because their worth is based on appearances. Beauty pageants can bring emotional problems. Along with emotional problems, pageants can lead to financial strain, which is my third main point. According to a 2012 article written in the Journal of American, Academic, American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry by Martina Cartwright, pageants can cost a lot of money, but there's a reward for the best contestant in the end. Entry fees for these pageants are usually between $50 and $500. Required photos, DVDs, and talent competitions add a few hundred more dollars. The largest expense is clothing, and one dress can cost more than $1,500. Many extra expenses come from the makeup, hair, spray tans, fake teeth, and nails that help the girls win. When estimating the cost of participating in one pageant, the total comes to three to $5,000. Prizes for top, win top winners vary from a few hundred to a few thousand dollars, but the chances of winning are very slim. Other prizes include crowns, trips, movie parts, and even puppies. According to a May 2013 article posted on the Global Post website, beauty pageants are very expensive, and the money that parents spend on these pageants could be spent on education, family vacations, or bills. The average cost of a pageant dress is $1,000, and some can cost up to $5,000. Some pageants require more than one outfit, so the total can add up quickly. When figuring the final cost, they must add in travel expenses. My third main point shows how pageants can cost families a lot of money that could be spent elsewhere. Beauty pageants can bring financial strain. 
The costumes, hair, makeup, teeth, tan, nail can teeth, teeth, tans, and nails can also lead to my fourth main point, which is that beauty pageants sexualize young girls. According to a November 2012 Good Therapy article, children that participate in pa beauty pageants are sexualized very early in life. Their suggestive costumes gain the attention of the audience in a very inappropriate way. This can lead to premature sexual activity later in life, and it doesn't teach them that their wor worth is more than their appearance. According to a May 2013 Global Post article, the makeup, hair extensions, big teeth, revealing outfits, and provocative poses can sexualize young girls. Chairman of the Royal Australian and New Zealand College of Psychiatrists, Philip Block, said that he supports banning child beauty pageants because the contestants are judged on sexualized ideas, which impacts mental and emotional development, as well as self-esteem and body image. In review, beauty pageants sexualize young girls. Beauty pageants can bring many harmful effects to young girls and their families. They cause girls to grow up way before they have to. My four main points have shown you how beauty pageants can specifically harm an individual. In the JAACAP, Martina Cartwright observed a day in the life of a child beauty pageant. The pageants you observed started at 10 a.m., so the children and their parents were up earlier to do hair, makeup, and get dressed. There were no breaks in between, not even for lunch. She saw many tantrums by the children backstage. Even with these crabby children, the parents wouldn't allow them to take naps because it could mess up their appearance. During the two-hour break where the judges determined scores, the children were obviously tired, but still not allowed a nap. Many parents gave their children caffeinated beverages and pixie sticks, better known as pageant crack, in order to keep their energy levels up. We should discourage these types of behaviors and judgments by banning beauty pageants that base their decisions on winners by, appear by appearance. Beauty pageants are harmful. To recap, my four main, par four main points are, one, beauty pageants can conflict with values, two, beauty pageants can bring emotional problems, three, beauty pageants can bring financial strain, and four, beauty pageants can sexualize young girls. Thank you for listening.